kind of don't know where to start uh, with the game tonight. Uh, let's talk about the good stuff, the goals in the third period. Just once, it seems like once you guys broke through, it was it was okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this, and we're not gonna lose to San Jose tonight. Yeah, I thought that the guys did a good job staying with it, but we needed that spark to get going. And, and once we got that, then uh, really felt like we, you know, were ready to take off. So it was good. We need to win uh, against San Jose. We need confidence there. And uh, obviously, any divisional opponent right now, we got to make sure we get two points. Right. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, Ryan having the two goals and, and just Kirby doing so well and just continuing to, to do that? Yeah, I thought, uh, obviously, Lomberg's goal was huge, shorthanded, uh, some nice plays, some good poise on the plays, but just the, to convert shorthanded, I think, caps off a really strong night for a penalty kill. Um, credit there goes to John Gillies as well, because he's, you know, when your penalty kill is good, then your goaltender is usually really good. And um, uh, Lomberg obviously coming through with a big play, so huge there. Then on the other side of it, power play came through for us, and they were patient with it. They worked... Uh, uh, worked around the units a little bit and got a new unit out there and Kirby Reichel came through that's what he does he scores goals and he hasn't scored as many lately but uh, after scoring last game you know you sort of feel like he's the kind of guy that'll do it in bunches so good uh, not surprising to have him be the guy you know glad you said something about John because I feel like not that he's taken for granted at all, but he sort of, he's so good to me. It's easy to sort of say, well, yeah, that's just what he does. But he had some great saves tonight. Yeah, some really good saves. And uh, they scored early, and I thought he did a really good job of uh, resetting from that and playing strong throughout. A couple flurries in the third period, especially that he stood in for. And, um, you know, that's the difference in the game. You know, he played really well. Special teams came through for us and uh, big two points. Especially against this team to have the performance we got from John Gillies to keep it a one goal deficit. How important was it to keep that at just one shot as opposed to letting a, a deficit start building? Yeah, I think when you get in a position where you're down by more than one, it starts to get tougher to get out of. And San Jose is a good team that way. They're strong defensively. They got strong goaltending. So um, John did a good job of keeping us in it. And um, you know, once the guys get that first goal and then all of a sudden you're in a tie game, you're not still climbing from behind. So it was a, it's a big factor to keep that within one and allow our team to get back in it. Going back to last weekend, now three short Hannah goals just in a really tight uh, little window here. How big of a boost is it for the guys on the bench, especially when you're down to be able to connect shorthanded? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not something that you expect, but you know it's something that is a huge boost of confidence and a huge boost of adrenaline for the team. And, um, I think that the other side of it is the guys did a good job of following that shift up and killing the rest of the penalty because there'll be times when you get that and all of a sudden um, you know the team can get distracted but I thought everyone did a good job of sort of resetting killing the last 51 seconds I think it was of the penalty and making sure they finished the job that they were they set out to do in addition to scoring the goal and especially against this opponent to be able to come back in the third period um, that's the type of resilience that, you know, I know it's no secret where we're at in the standings here, but I'd imagine from a coach's standpoint, that's exactly what you're hoping to see from the team the rest of the way. Definitely. We, we, we talk a lot about resilience, and we've shown a lot of resilience in the past this season. Um, you know, had some third period comebacks, and we're going to have to be really resilient from here on out. And uh, when you look at the standings, that's the situation we're in. We talked about that before the game. And that's the bottom line. But hey, we're you know we're in every hockey game to win it. We got to make sure we just take one at a time, chip away with our points, and uh, make sure we do the right things to get the wins, and not think about the end game until we get through the process. Right. Thanks, coach. Nice. All right, thank you guys.